Russia is on the offensive both diplomatically and on the battlefield. The Russian forces are picking new targets in Ukraine. On their target now are Ukrainian weapon factories. The Russian forces attacked the Antonov factory in Kiev. Two people died. At least seven were injured. Our correspondent Anas Malik paid a visit to the site. Here's what he found. These images are from the Antonov factory in Kiev. Ukraine's largest aircraft plant, which produces the world's biggest cargo planes. On Monday, it came under attack. A huge convoy of Russian troops subjected it to incessant shelling. Satellite images showed burning fuel storage tanks at this facility. Also, the movement of Russian troops northeast of Antonov, at least seven people were injured in this attack and two are said to have died. Also lost in the attack was AN-225, or what the Ukrainians call Miria, a one-of-a-kind six-engine cargo plane that was once called the world's largest aircraft. Ukraine's foreign minister himself revealed that this aircraft was destroyed in the Russian attack. Vyond Zanas Malik travelled to the Antonov factory to assess the full scale of damage. And I'm standing outside the Antonov factory. Uh, this is the only factory that produces large airplanes and Ukraine's uh, biggest manufacturing, airplane manufacturing plant, which is here. Beyond this, it's in Kiev city. Beyond this is the factory plant, which was targeted today by the Russian shelling. Reports say that this was no ordinary attack. It was an attempt to weaken Ukraine's air power. Hours before it unfolded, Moscow had issued a warning, saying how it was going to dismantle the defense industry of Ukraine. The armed forces of the Russian Federation will take prompt measures to disable enterprises of the military-industrial complex of Ukraine that manufacture, repair and restore weapons that nationalists use to commit war crimes with. We urge citizens of Ukraine working at these enterprises, as well as residents of nearby residential buildings, to leave areas of potential danger. The defense industry of Ukraine is a strategically important sector of the country. It once used to be a part of the Soviet Union. It accounted for 30% of Soviet defense production and 40% of the USSR's entire scientific research. When Ukraine declared independence, most of the facilities and stocks went to Ukraine. Over time, the industry modernized itself by partnering with private players. This took Ukraine to the ninth spot in Global Arms Exporters list of 2015. This industry is also crucial to Ukraine's economy. It earns billions in revenue each year for the Ukrainian government. In the coming months, all its operations could go for a toss. Moscow says the attack on Antonov was just the beginning. It plans to dismantle Ukraine's entire military-industrial complex. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.